Hey, so everyone's been talking about Bitcoin, and we finally have to figure out the tax implications of this thing. Lisa Green Lewis, our CPA tax expert from TurboTax, here with us, thankfully, to talk about it. First of all, this currency is on fire. Yes, it People is. People are seriously making money, and no surprise that there's going to be an IRS grab for some of it, right? Well, yeah, I mean, it's it's fairly new to people and it's really growing, but um, the IRS, they regulated it in 2014, but a lot of people are not aware of that. No, because I think so many people didn't even think it existed in mm -hmm. 2014. Yes. So who knew the IRS was ahead of the curve here? Okay, so you think of it like a stock. Yes. Um, a, sh a share of stock, right? Yes, so the IRS, um, they say you think of it as holding onto a capital asset, like like stock and then how it's used, how it's spent, um, that relates to how you're taxed or the person receiving it is taxed. So let's just say I buy and sell it, I trade it. I pay capital gains tax just like I would yes. or loss, just like, although we have, I don't think we're gonna see those for a while. But yeah, <laughs> we gain right now. But. So you, you, and you report this, there's a line on the tax return for this or is it just like regular Schedule D? It's a Schedule D item. It's yes. regular Schedule D item. Okay, what if, I am paid in Bitcoin. Yeah, so if you're paid in Bitcoin, it depends on um, how, you're, how you're paid or what you're classified as. So there are actually some employers that are paying employees in Bitcoin. So you're, if you're an employee, it would be included in your gross income and so also on your W-2. And then on the employer side, they would have um, employment taxes as so, well. Social Security for Medicare, they would have to pay mm -hmm. that on the Bitcoin. Yes. And now, and then if well, if you're self-employed and you're paid as a contractor with Bitcoin, then you know you would have self-employment taxes, and it would be on your 1099 miss. This is crazy. And then I guess if you, and then the other scenario I suppose is if you pay, you buy something with it, right? Yes. There's yes. tax there as well. Yes, and there are some people that are accepting Bitcoin as pay for products. So you would see, um, you would have to pay taxes like on a gain, like offset what you're getting. Right. With what you're- How you're paying. How with you're what paying. paying. Yes. It's, it sounds like ridiculously complicated, but I guess in theory it's not. It's obvious. You owe tax pretty much at the yes. end of the day. Yes, on the difference, you have right? to pay taxes. All right, so keep your receipts and, uh, and good luck trading that stuff. Lisa, thank you. Thank you.